Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to another part of Monsters Inc. Scare Island. This is part three. This is the retrospective, of course. Here we are in uh, this wonderful level here. This is the Sugar Shack. Don't you um, don't you absolutely love the colours of this? This I I don't know. Do I prefer the PS? Oh, okay, okay. With rock textures, right? With the rock textures, I'm gonna say I prefer um, the PS2 version. The PS2 rocks are really nice, um, I must say, like, really, they do look like actual quality stuff. Uh, the rocks in this game look average, but the colours of this level look wonderful in this version. Um, the reason why I'm making such claims and, you know, kind of comparisons is because I feel like that's got to be the new spin, you know, since I have played the PS2 version now, since I did the original Let's Play. Obviously, the retrospect is meant to be compare and contrast my opinions from back in the day. You know, it's um, it's some, it's some really good stuff. Uh, but you know, you know the PS the PS1 version it holds up in many in many ways. Um, I know Super Spyro fan 2010, a commenter a friend of mine, uh, says he doesn't like any aspect of uh, the PS2 game pretty much, and I disagree. I think there are some really good things. Um, I was then called a nerd in response, jokingly of course. Uh, but you know, it, it's it's I don't know. I, I do like the PS2 version in many ways. I, you know, especially the dark levels are great. Um, but not all of them, you know. I can I can see why you you know people would complain. I don't know. I, I, I'm not I'm not too yeah. Oh, okay. Now let's see if I can let's see if I can do. Oh shit! Please let me be back up there. Damn it! I wanted to try and use the uh, jump the jump glitch to uh, you know easily get across get get two of those tokens so I don't have to do them next time. All right. Let's give it a go. Here we go. Yeah. I don't. No. no, no. All right. Maybe I'll try this from this way. Yeah, I'll try from this way. And look at that. Look, look at how easy it is to get the, the nerves and stuff. It's ridiculous. No. Oh, that's the that's the pedo one. So that's okay. That's just him showing off. But the other one, that's that's pedo. That's that's pedo. Like that's that's offender right there. That's sexual offender. All right, okay. Uh, all right. So let's give this a go. Oh, fuck! I went right through it and missed them all. Idiot. Okay. Is there some kind of checkpoint that doesn't make me link all the way out to here? Uh, okay. I'll just we'll just do it legit now. Uh, actually, no, I can't resist. There you go. That'd be fun. Okay. So the gimmick of this level, I guess, is the sugar, the actual sugar shack. You see these uh, logs lying around here. Obviously, these logs are of importance. We have to throw them so we can get up to the top shelf. Look, I'll show you. What you do is you put them down here, I guess it's meant to be the queue, it's like, hey look, you want to get up here, jump, you know, put them on. I think though, it's, you can actually just, yeah, you, you meant more, they, they want you to have more, but you know, yeah, whatever. Alright, now we can go down to the sugar shack, for some reason the sugar shack reminds me a lot of, um, Ape Escape 3, there's a level, it, it obviously came out like years later in the game, but Ape Escape 3, the second level in the game, uh, there's like a shack type thing, like a, you know, it's meant to be like Red Riding Hood's shack or whatever, something like that. There you go, there's the metal. That's a great scene. Right. Here we are, and oh, look, it's a clock. It's a clock, damn it! No. Oh, and it destroyed, and I don't think I have enough nerves to destroy this. Oh my god. I mean, not enough nerves, whatever the fuck. At least the door's open though now. So you go in this little cabin here, and you can exit. Uh, what's... Oh, that's where you come through, yep. Alright, watch this. Now the door magically opens. You couldn't get in normally, so yeah, I really should have collected more. What an idiot. I didn't, didn't know this has been. Oh, oh, amazing! Another life, like we needed him. All right. All right, so we're on full now. Okay, so what can we do? That's a good question. Um, I want to see if there is a way to skip more of the level. That'd be great. Right. Oh yeah, we don't need to. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. There we go. Well, did he look up? He just looked up or something like that. Like, hey, what's going on? All right, All right there he is. Let's see if I can make the jump. Actually, wait, 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 could could this be the time? Could this be the time? Wait, wait. Nah, this, this is not the type of jump. It needs to kind of be in like an angle type thing. Right, I'll give it a go. Ah, oh, fuck. I, I'm getting obsessed with doing this, this move though. That's the thing. 
No, okay. Let's just cut to him. Yes, I did just cut. Like, literally, I reckon about 10 seconds, less than 20 seconds ahead. Just, I don't know, I, I just think it's kind of funny to do a cut like that. I'm that impatient. I cannot be bothered with the level. Um, or, like, not with the level, but with that bit. I, I'm just sick of red nerves. They suck. All right. Let's see if I can do anything else creative in this level. You know what? I don't have too much faith. All right. Let's here, do that. I'll just see. I'll just see. Um, can you go any slower, you piece of shit? No. Alright, so... What do we got to look for? Okay, camera at work is being horrible today. Alright. So, we've got that area over there. Okay. I guess we'll just have to... Yeah. I don't think we can... Oh, well, I had to miss all this. Oh, but no, it already repeats. Okay. So, let's see if I can do this. Alright. It'd be great if I could get across the other side. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Mate? Nah, alright, exit level. Hello everyone, Chris- oh, whoops, <laughs> I thought I was doing it again, I was doing another part. No, this is the same part, obviously. This is the second level and I love the music in this one. How good is that? It's wonderful. It is truly wonderful. Yeah, I don't know, there's just something I really like about it. It's got a really upbeat vibe, it's, it feels icy somehow, I don't know, I don't know how it feels icy, it just does. Don't question the logic. Now that's a weird little figurine, isn't it? What the hell is that? What is it trying to be? What is it trying to prove? I have no idea. Alright. Anyway, there's a little... Oh, there's an ice skating nerve. Yes. He's... You know, these little blue nerves are showing, showing some uh, personality for once. We're actually seeing another side of the blue nerves. Some others sitting there playing with a sandcastle. Isn't that wonderful? Alright. Let's make sure we collect all these. These are going to be important, I think. I'm just going to guess. Now, this level, and yet another gimmick of... The, I mean, I guess the other level wasn't really a gimmick more than it was just... I don't know. At first, there was that... Yeah, that's a... What, what is that meant to be? Like, some kind of... I have no idea. I can't even... I can't come up with anything witty or fun. Alright, okay. Let's make sure we get... Yeah, Monsters in coin there. Token. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to say, so the other level, I guess, didn't have a gimmick, it's just more, hey, look, it's a sugar shack, that's pretty cool, but, no, um, there you go, what's important is that there is a, uh, there's a ski lift item, firstly, that loop was terrible, you could easily see where it loops, um, so firstly, yeah, there's a ski lift, and secondly, there is a actual, you get to ski in this game, yes, I'm, I'm serious when I say that, you get to ski in this game, you get to, I mean, when you play as Mike, you're on some ball piece of shit thing. When you're on this guy, you're on like proper skis, a snowboard type. I think, is it snow, is it a snowboard? You know, I'm going to guess it's a snowboard. I'm going to hedge my bets on snowboard. Alright. Now, oh shit, that, that, that can happen. That can happen and you will get pushed off. Okay, and we've just missed our cue. Bloody brilliant, eh? Wait. Okay. Wait. Wait, let's see if I can... Actually, I'm wondering, well, well, I have to wonder, wait. Wait. Hmm. Could that be possible? Wait. Wait, 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 come on, come on. What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. I want to I just figure this out, wait. Okay, impossible, alright. Now, when's the go- oh, here he is. So, yeah, this level is kind of, it's slow in- no, I don't know, it feels, it's a slow level, like, you know, once you're doing all this, you're kind of just, you're kind of just waiting for it to hurry up, you know what I mean? You're like, come on, come on, I want to do this now, I want to, want to get this over the, over and done with. Because uh, you've you got to go up and back onto the ski lift to, you know, get to the end and stuff. Uh, let's just, you know, actually, no, I reckon we'll jump back to the other area first. Let's do that. Wait. Um, actually, could I do this? Come on. Please. Yes, yes, I did it. Oh, you suck that. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, well, pointless. <laughs> Fuck you. All right, okay. Um, could I possibly trek up the wall? Wait. Come on. Ah, oh, no, I can't. Okay. Ah. Oh. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, yeah, sucked in. You can actually, yeah, you can basically kill enemies by jumping on them. Watch, because he's such, you know, it makes sense. I mean, like, like you're stepping on their face. Obviously, that's going to hurt. 
you know, the, the logic, 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 uh, logic pro. Right, okay, let's go on. Okay, come on, jump. Please hurry up. Okay, there we go. And frame skip. So guys, see how long it takes. See how long it takes to get what you want. Okay. So now we've made it to the top of the ski lift. There's a little red guy in here. Wait, is he in there? Oh, there he is. Oops. Yeah, fuck you, mate. Douche. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's just um. Wait. Okay. So oh yeah. So we we'll unlock this first, and that means we can skip up to the top instead of having to go through the ski lift, which is very convenient. Now, I forgot, is there actually nerves in here? Is there one at the bottom or something? Anyway, you get two options, right? Yeah, firstly, there is... See, look, is it... This is like the only... I think... Is this the only level where there's actually two options? Um, you know, like, it actually gives you two options as to, you know, do you want to, uh, you know, um, you know, play as Mike or Sully? You know, like, as in... On the thing. Now, firstly, this is shit. Look at it. It's just terrible gameplay. You... I don't know if you can... If you can see with me. i the AFH 13 in um, in Angus's Let's Play part of this game, he said something about how the one in um, like Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Buses or something like that was absolutely shit, and uh, it is absolutely shit in uh, this game as well. And they're obviously made by the same people, so wonderful. No, X star. Okay, now this one. Now this one, a much higher percentage of you fucking up. Uh, it's just look at how awkward it is. It's like you, you can't maintain proper, maintain proper control over. It. I don't know. There's something weird about it that just doesn't, doesn't gel. You know, it doesn't gel. Like it feels like like what am I trying to do here? What 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 the, f what in the hell is going on? It's I don't know. It, it sounds like I'm just whining, whining for the sake of whining, but really it's true. It does like absolutely suck. Right. Let's just try and get it. If I can get it in one go, no, 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 no Yes, got it. I scot it. Right. And I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. That's it. Let's just get as many as we can there. Now, that actually leaves us with... Would you like to retry it? No. I'm done with your cheap tricks. And I'm not talking about the band, Cheap Trick. Was Cheap Trick the one that did the song... Uh, no, no. Was, did Cheap Trick do that song, you know? The dream police, they live inside of my head. The dream police, they come to me in my bed. Yeah, the dream police were cool. Well, that was, that was a song there. Now, wait, do you get a repeat when you... Like, you come back down here and all of a sudden it's like, Hey, we're going to reset the level for you. Like, nerve-wise. I mean, so primordial ooze-wise. Anyway, doesn't matter. It means nothing. Just like what he's saying. He's saying, you know what? This is how many fucks I give. None. Right. And that's done. Oh, it's not. We need to get one more. No, 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 no. It is great music, though, isn't it? Angus, you were wrong. Alan Scott, you were wrong. All right, shit. Come on, come on. Yes. Wait a minute. Can, can we make it? Can we make it? Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! I fucking did it, you assholes that doubted me. Not, not that any of you did, but you know. Fuck. Yeah, that's brilliant skipping right there. This level can take a while if, you, if you're impatient like me. This level can be a nightmare with the newfound glitch, you know, that I found, not that, like, glitch that's, I guess it's not new, it's really kind of, they, those guys discovered it, really. Um, the more I think about it, the more, like, it makes sense. Obviously, the game is kind of glitch where the jump repeats, you know, but now you're probably wondering, what am I doing up here? But I wanted to show you what I missed out on last time. Now, what happened here is clearly... Uh, you can skip onto that section there. Now, in my video, it was completely glitched up uh, on the last part, so you get to see that happen. A couple minutes were cut out, because fuck you, Sony Vegas, you bastards. Anyway, let's cut to level 3. I thought it would be a better idea to cut to this level first, instead of the iceberg, because you know what? The iceberg kind of sucks. I'm not I'm not really a fan of it. Um, Speedrunning wise, I've completely forgotten what to do with it. Uh, gameplay wise, yeah. You know, it's just alright. I prefer to save the iceberg for last. I feel like that level was an excellent uh, excellence in video game design. Should have won that award. It was no really it really is a top quality level. Um, now, my question is, how much can I skip in this uh, level? I really have to wonder. Uh, first things first, let's get this guy. And look, he's making a wonderful fish, fish guy. These guys are the true architect, just like Steph Rollins of the Shield. The blue nerves are really the architects of, uh, 
of the, um, I don't know, this, this game, what the fuck, I've got no idea. Okay, let's see if, no, nah, no glitch there. Okay, so the little thing gameplay mechanic that we haven't seen before, yeah, continuing that trend of just they love to introduce these new gameplay mechanics. Wow, that is a really, really nice lighting. Um, yeah, they like to introduce new gameplay mechanics in uh, this in this world. Um, it seems, you know, or like you know, just gimmicks of little fun little things that I can appreciate. Uh, don't want to go down there because I don't know why. Now, don't you just adore? The, the lighting in this level, like the PS2 version looks like a piece of steaming shit compared to this. Like I am, I shit you not, is, I'm guessing we can't get back down there, so you know what, for now I'm going to get enough nerves, I, I, I'm pretty damn confident I've done this the wrong way, oh shit, so, you know, look, look at all these just random nerves appearing out of nowhere that really, I'm well below its uh, worth, alright, wait, no, nothing I can. No, no. no this actually level. This actually level. So this level actually, not this actually level. Look, it uh, now goes into a really. Look at that. That's a great like thumbnail, like a great contrast there. That is something that the PS2 version just can't, just didn't do as well. It's like they had all these uh, different color options and shit, and they just thought, you know, let's just go with bleak. That's that, honestly. That, look, this is wonderful lighting here. Like damn, like really impressive. You know, fair play to them. Uh, now we can go and get this one here. Our second nerve, only second nerve. This level takes a bit of time, actually. Um, you want to kind of be smart with this one. It's it's not easy. Not gonna lie. As I, as I repeat that st statement again. All right. What do we got next? Oh, did we we didn't go to this section or something? Is this just another? No, we didn't. Okay, so this is just some random area that we didn't previously visit. Uh, can I get up there though? Wait. All right. Let's see if we can. Yep, yeah, come on, let me... Oh, fuck. That'd be... Wait, 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 wait. Nah, you can't. Wait. Nah, I'm just gonna... I was gonna say, wait. Could you possibly... Nah, I don't think you can. That's a bit of a shame. It'd be great if we could get up there, but... Alright, now... Where to? Down, back down here? Yep, alright. See, I am completely confused as to where to go. I think this is like the other way we you take, you know? The road less traveled by. No, this is bad. All I know is I'm doing shit right now. So, apolog I apologize profusely, guys. I apologize profusely. I think this will be the, probably the longest, second, no, I reckon this would be like the middle long length part, actually. Because, yeah, well, anyway. Got that one. What's down here? Just, I don't know, there's just really, really nice lighting in this. Okay, so I think this is the quick way. Oh, little subtle water drop. I think this is the fastest way of going, I th think. Um, I kind of want to go down there too. I kind of want to go... Fuck off. Right. Yeah, I believe this is the wrong way to go, actually. So, yep, thank you for getting it wrong. Yep, okay, so it takes all the way back to the start. Not that that matters, because we can now do this. Actually, I want to have a look at what that um, that post box says, because it could be interesting. It could say something like, guess what, there's a secret in this level that you will never find out, and you'd never find out if you didn't press, you know, me. No. Boo. Just like that character from the movie. Alright, let's, what does he have to say? Watch out for falling icicles here, yeah, thanks for the advice. There's a monster thing. They've obviously branded this. This is obviously a, a, a complete training arena. There's no nothing natural about this level at all. It's just a complete training arena. Let's skip. We, because I, I think we have to, because you know we've we've been, you know, went the wrong way. Yeah. And we'll head. Did we go this way last time or not? I don't know if we did, but I think we may have. Yep. Uh. Oh shit! I just fell down. Oh crap. No, there we go. We'll go back. It's the other way that time. Sorry, this is what happens when you skip it. Beautiful, beautiful colours. My goodness. So, now we'll go this way. That's the, that's where we're meant to go, right? Yep. Watch out for falling icicles and not. Right. There's actually another one of those big jumps where you jump across as well. That guy always reminded me of a Furby too. Don't you reckon? You know those Furby things? Furby toys? Furby. Furby and the Fur Real Friends. So. Are you Fur Real? <laughs> <laughs> I chuckle at my own joke. Right. 
Let's do this. All right, hopefully, hopefully nothing's cut out this time. It's not just me talking, but all right. Fuck, oh, it's a medal. And here we are just after, again, getting the uh, sixth one. This is just the one that was just above by jumping across through with the waterfall or whatever. So just right next to where we got the bronze medal, pretty much. Let's do this one, that one, and then we'll go to the final level. I am ever so excited. I really, I really am. Trust me, you cannot match my enthusiasm right now. Here we are in the Iceberg, another great track actually. I really like the Iceberg music, it's got a cool feel to it, I don't know, just, I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan, okay. Now, firstly we can do this little glitch over to here. Isn't that wonderful, as the camera kind of glitches out. Unfortunately, we really kind of wasted our time because you can't actually, brilliant. You can't actually rescue or get these guys because we don't have enough nerves, so yeah. Realistically, this was a very stupid plan by a very stupid man. Yeah, I'm being a bit, be, being a bit self depreciative today, but whatever. How good's that? This is wonderful. It's full of wonder. Did somebody say you wonder? Right. Now we can actually get a couple more. There we go. Now we can come back up. Oh, you know what? We'll come and get these bad boys later. This was really just a bad decision. I don't I don't know who th I don't know who okay this decision. Something's not right. Something is not right indeed. So yeah, um do I prefer the PS1? Yeah, the PS2 version again looks a lot more bleak and this version this version looks a lot better. Uh, I definitely prefer it. Again, unfortunately, you know, I'd love to say that all the levels in PS2 version look good, but they just don't. So, you know, there we go, there's that one. There's, look at all these one. look at all these ones I could have gotten, easily could have, you know, got to it by the end. Look, ready? This will pretty much, wait, well, there's a, oh, he's trying to climb. He's trying to climb, but he just won't succeed. When you get what you want, but not what you need. When you feel so tired that you can't sleep, stuck in reverse. Yeah, cold play. Right. Yeah, no, I probably should, oh, hey, look, hey, hey, we actually get to legitimately use this ability. See, that one, but we're not actually, we actually, well, I guess we, we don't really get to use it legitimately because... Wait, okay. First things first. Can I... Wait. wait. Okay, why can't I... Wait. Fuck off, you little fucker. Wait. Yeah, suck shit. I think we, I think we have enough yet. Well, that did nothing, because really, yeah. Anyway, we can probably already get to red pretty quickly, actually. Look at that, look. So really... Oh, shit. No, no. What are you doing, Clark? Oh, shit. He had a, he had a destroy... Like, an absolutely crazy sound effect there. Anyway, um... This thing here, see this? This is a slide. Did you like that? You can actually... Basically... Cheat the slide, if you wish. Yeah. Did I? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you lose an entire life of falling in the water? If so, that is a wonderful, wonderfully scary more like. It's just like, wow, you can actually you'd lose everything if you do that? Wow. Anyway, let's uh, do this again. Thank you, glitch game. I love it. There's one, two, three, four. But yeah, the music in this one really gets you pumped. Like, I'm actually moving my leg right now. I'm tapping to the beat, you know? Really put some put some deep house to this shit right now. Right. Let's end this. Put a bag over your head. That's scary enough for a nerve. Yeah, this should make a series. Just you know, what what scares a nerve? Everything does. Nerves are just the most weak creatures on this this planet. They have absolutely no resilience to scaring. You think they get better over time, you know? You think that certain things would fail, you know? But no, it is resorted to a simple button mashing tactic. Don't we all love it? No. There's, is that four off three? I don't know. Like that's the thing. They're so unmemorable, so boring. This this mutton mashing thing, which is I bet you it's gonna be square. I, I knew it was gonna be square. Ready back to circle. No, okay, triangle. Fuck you, I was wrong. I really should edit in just saying I was right. There we go. And yep, there we go. Done. Uh, actually, I am going. No, I'm not gonna save. Wait. I'm gonna actually cut to the boss now. Ready? Let's go. Quit the scare island. Yep. Oh, it's a it's a cutscene. Ah, you've done it again, boys. 
I'm very proud. You'll now be able to use the fling shots. Good luck. All fling shots, thanks. I didn't care about that cutscene so much that I actually checked my Google Plus notifications for YouTube comments and uh, was about to read a comment from Rizzit Toast. So, yeah, shout out to you, buddy. Um, I, that's how that's how little I care about those cutscenes. They're just boring. Anyway, this is Arctic Pursuit. This is not boring. Now, this is one level that looks fucking shit on the PS1 version compared to the PS2. The PS2 version has this full-on, like, real-life sky texture in the background. It's as if they took it from, like, a high-res Google website or something. I don't know, like, you know, one of the, the Google images, like, you know, five terabyte images. Like, it's absolutely incredible. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not kidding. It looked wonderful. Um, this level here is the hardest of the three, I reckon. Just in terms, you just got to make sure you don't miss too many of these Monster Zinc tokens. Otherwise, yeah, you're in, you're deeply fucked. So uh, that's the way it is, isn't it? But no, this is, it's not, it's not too difficult. Like I'm, I'm good at it now because I've played the game quite a few times. Um, anyway, let's show the fling shot in action. See, unfortunately, with, because of the nature of the fling shot, um, skipping, glitching uh, in the third world is no one near as useful as it is in the, you know, in the, um, in the second world, in the first world for that matter. You know, you can really glitch the hell out of it. But with the fling shot ones, it's pretty much, yeah, very difficult to, to get that height or distance, you know, by glitch jumping, you know what I mean? Anyway, we've got to get 125 of these to actually win. Um, well, there's an extra life there if I wanted one. Oh, look, there's, there's Randall. He's doing a shit job, I'm not gonna lie. Fuck, I gotta, I gotta stop saying not gonna lie. My uh, friend Brad Killen, reference to Brad, his dad, every time I said, huh, he'd make me do 10 push-ups when I was younger. And the more I think about that, you know, actually, I pretty much accepted this way when I was much, uh, well, I cleared it by one. I remember I used to be like, oh, this is so good, he's so stupid. But actually, it was a great bloody idea, because now I rarely ever say, huh. So, isn't that wonderful? And Michael Wazowski for their on target completion of level one of the Academy. I am honored to present you both with these bronze medals to commemorate your achievement. Congratulations to you both. Oh, what a lame achievement! What a lame, lame achievement. A bronze medal. Now here we are in Scare Island. Now this is one thing I forgot to actually talk about, okay? That is that is Scare Island itself. Now we look in the background and we see a absolutely abhorrent background. That is just disgusting. But then we see Scare Island itself. And I have always wondered, why did they not do more with the actual island? Look, you've got all this shit here, you've got all this crazy stuff. You've put the effort of making a train go around... Wait. A train go around the level. It's, it is merely just, like, no joke, just an actual gate. It's gatekeeping, that's all it is. You've got the three worlds here. Why not make an actual 3D platformer level out of this? You know, I've always thought, why, why not do something with this? Why not have these secret areas and shit? You know, that'd just be awesome. But instead, no, they take the really, really damn lame route here, and it's just like, yeah, here's Scare Island. It's you know, you enter the levels and that's it. I really feel like they could have done more. Now, if you go in here, I'll show you. You can, uh, yep, Sally, the lobby. See, look, we see this thing. We see a loading screen. You can either go up there and do the training. Do I want to save? You save there. Or you can go in here and uh, look at the movie theater and watch the movies if you wish. It's your choice. See? Different scenes from the movie and such. You know, like, what? what that's all. That's all there is to Scare Island. Watch movies. Um, okay, the camera was weird there. Watch movies just walk around and look at this random trivial aspects of the island and that's it. And it's absolutely suckish. It really does suck. Um, anyway, I'm going to cut to hot springs. All right, so here I am back in the hot springs, and I'm going to give this thing a go here. It links it back to the top. I really should have done that at first because I uh, 
Yeah, I'm an idiot. All right, so we've got a little, little jump here. Let's, uh, let's try and make this work. This one's bloody annoying because there's like a weird thing here. There you go, you got to do that. It's kind of very awkward, actually. Um, let's see if I can get this one too. Oh, no, you know what? The life isn't worth it. Remember, guys, I've never had a life. I never care for lives. No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's do this jump across here. I think you might be able to do some skips soon, but we don't actually need them now that we've got the fling shot. So, congratulations, fling shot. You actually you have a bit of a use for us. Here we go. This is where the fling shot really comes in into use properly. You can you, without it, you can't you know get to the high areas like up here. Well, you can get to one area, I think, actually. But um, yeah, who cares for now? Anyway, now we've got a green color. Isn't it? They, they are really just going through. Hopefully we get a red color at some point. That'd be wonderful. And there you go. Here's some actual uses of the um, other thing. And this looks great, though. Really. And look, oh, we're transitioning back into kind of... Well, it's still green, I guess. No, yeah, with this one here, you can actually skip. Um, anyway, we'll just get this one first. There you go. Get that one. Oh, silver medal. Oh, no. We're going to be... Oh, bad decision. Wait, no. All good. No, okay. There comes that guy. No, that's all good. I was, for a second, I was thinking, oh, no, we're going to have to be linked back and, you know, to the level again. Anyway, let's do that one. I think maybe we'll end the game with a sugar shack. Just see if that'd be funny. That. Oh, how boring. Seriously, I'd almost rather my my, uh, my voice be drowned out by the music. The music in this one's okay. It's, it's pretty good. It's, it's probably middle of the range track. I'd probably put it... F oh. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, anyway, let's... No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I want to give this a go. Wait. I want to jump to that one there. There you go. Oh, hey, look at that. We get some lives. Oh, look at those lives. Those glorious lives. Okay. And I think that is it. This is the last guy here. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, oh he's, he's getting away. He's getting away. Wait. Wait, come on. No, stop, stop, just stay still, stay still, you asshole. Wait. Okay, okay. Okay, God, we get, okay, this is the challenge I'm wanting. All right, here we go, stop. All right, there you go, there you go. We'll just play, and quick, and quick, and stop. And gold medal. Here we are as Mike. I thought it'd be kind of a cool idea to play as Mike again, because, um, you know, we haven't really played as Mike at all, really. Even though, uh, it's probably stupid because Mike sucks and you can't do any glitches with him. So, well, pretty much none. Only the speed glitch where you can, you know, skip getting into that area in the um, the second level. Wait a minute. I didn't forget the back. Did I complete the the, the other ones? Did I? Yeah, I think yeah, I did. No, all good, all good. Wait, did I? Yeah, no, I did. Okay. Uh, done with that. Don't want to save. Oh, here we go. So, we've got this guy here. Yep, okay. Alright, he took a while, he's lingering. He's like, look at me, look at me, pay attention to me. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, look, that's, that's so scary. Look at this guy. Actually, I'll tell you, him as a green goes really well, though. He looks great against the ice. It really reflects his wonderful complexion. You get what I'm saying? He's kind of got, like, brown under him. He's, ugh. Bit of an ugly one. Alright, okay. Bit of an ugly duckling. Now, so this is at the very top here. Um, no. Yeah, basically, I am stuffed now. Okay, because there's one... There, there, there actually is one up there that I'm missing. There was a red guy that was just hiding. But what we'll do... The idea is... Alright, watch this. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, you go out this way here. And here he is. And then we'll go through that secret area, secret door, to, not secret, I guess it's pretty obvious, it's, a, it's an obvious secret, um, to get what we need, okay. So, yeah, what have I thought of this game since uh, playing it last time, you know, I'm, my opinions have changed, I've already kind of mostly talked about it, mostly covered it, you know, I, I just do appreciate its colour a lot more, I really do, uh, you know, usually like the PS2 version, uh, you know, they have to wear a lot of colour, and, uh, you know, like, I'm never, never trying a page accent again. Actually, I'm never trying a, uh, a WWE page accent again, but I do kind of appreciate it. Okay, no, I was just trying to throw in the butt there. There's a wrestler um, that always says butt. I'm not talking about ass, I'm talking about butt, as in to say, 
this, 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 and that, but, this, 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 and that, but, but, here we are in this level. Alright, there we go, look at that, we, we get the, uh, the, the tokens that I, I couldn't get before. Now, um, uh, where are the other ones? I think there's another one up here somewhere, wait, where is he, where is he? Who are ya? Oh, okay, wait. Actually, seriously, where do I go? Wait, wait. Alright, I've got no idea. Wait. Is it over? Wait. Where the... Where the hell are you gonna go? Is it just... Wait. Oh, it must be... Wait. I... Oh, God, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared because I've got no idea where to go. Right. Fine, fine. Oh, okay. I'll take it properly. Here's what we gotta do. Right. Wait. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I completely screwed it up. I think what you gotta do is... Here it is, right there. It takes us. No, that didn't. That didn't do it. Great. Okay, so I actually. Oh, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. Now I've got you. Now I've got you. It's there's one that's right over here. Wait. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Okay. So watch this. This is the. This is another problem with Mike. Mike McShit. Yeah, you, you, you can't, you can't jump at it. There's just no, there's no power to this guy. He's just an arsehole. Mike's just an irritable arsehole in this game. I'd never play as him. He runs slower. And I guess this, uh, is that as bad? Yeah, it probably is, to be honest. Look at him. Just fucking hurry up, Mike. No one wants to play as you. No one wants to play as Mike. That's the thing. Mike sucks, though. There you go. Third jump, we make it. And what you do is, this is the one. Takes us to this little secret section over here. Guy with one eye. That's pretty much his only feature. He's the guy that says "not bad for a guy with one eye" and a kind of a, a crappy, um, you know, Billy Billy Crystal accent. No. There we go. One eye. It isn't Billy Crystal. I'm pretty sure. Wait, is it? Wait. Actually. Wait. I'm pretty sure it's not him, but. Maybe I'm wrong. I know I know that Steve Buscemi is definitely in the game, uh, as Randall. Really, they just underutilized the hell out of him. They should have just. They should have been like, okay, we got you, Buscemi. We're gonna use you for basically everything. We're gonna milk you dry. You're gonna be basically our game bitch. And you know, I think Buscemi would be like, you know what? I was a firefighter for 9/11. I'll do this. And actually, did this game come out when 9? That was not meant to be a joke, by the way. Don't take that in offense. I'm saying, like, you know, if he if he, he's done some crazy, amazing things in his life, I think adding to his resume, adding to this, I think that'd be just the thing for him. You know what I mean? He's acted in some great movies. You know, why not lend his hand to a more prominent role in this game? Fuck. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's, got, he's swimming down the fucking river. What the? Who does this guy think he is? POTUS? Prison of the United States? Oh. Maybe he will be one day. Oh, if he swims up that river again. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Stay there, you little fuck. Oh, there we go. Apologies for the profanities, but you know what? This guy's a little shit. Thinks he can swim down a river. Firstly, he's a bloody robot, so wouldn't he electrocute? Wouldn't he be dead? Well, you know, wouldn't the... Rather, the batteries just be, you know, fried? Wouldn't he, wouldn't he be rusting? Yeah, that's a question. Not a, I don't think we know the answer to, because this game has no logic. There you go. Anyway, there's a gold medal. One eye. Okay, I don't want to get in that loop of just singing it all of a sudden again, but seriously, I love it. Anyway, so we're back in the iceberg here. Um, Alright, there we go. We've got all the things. Now, what we needed to do is, firstly, do... Wait, 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 wait. That was it? I've already skipped... I've already skipped over there before. No, no, no bother. Right. So, now we can actually enter the iceberg, the iceberg castle that there is. There's actually a castle. It's wonderful. Wait. There you go. What the fuck? Does he does he does he hurt you? That's interesting. Oh, wait. Um, quick thing. Oh, that's right. Yep, we got to do this. So I guess you know, jumping over there isn't a hundred percent, you know, awesome because you you have to yeah, you have to later go on this to you know, get the monsters ink token. Now, um, now what we got to do is we got to actually enter the. This little castle thing here. Now, in the PS2 version, again, it looks really dry, really lame, just overall disappointing. Um, in this one, I can't remember too well. I'm gonna have to have a look. I haven't played this one in a while, but I've seen obviously Angus's PS2 LP, so you know. Right, anyway, 
Ready? We'll get this. Just to let you know, I did keep the music there because I wanted you to hear it. Now, now here he goes running. Now, I know this one direction takes you to a life or something like that, or a monster thing. Token. I think this is the wrong... I think we're going the wrong way. Well, this, well, I guess we're going the right way, but we're not going in the other way. Which I think maybe just gives you a life. And you know, I'm actually too lazy to go back there. Hopefully it's not a Monsters Inc. token. And actually, that reminds me, we're actually going to get the... Wait a minute. Oh no, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to enter the level again because you get like a cutscene to say you got the silver medal, which is so damn pointless. Like it's just so pointless, it's not funny. Oh wait, I think you start I think you start at the same level again. I'm not too sure. I've forgotten. Anyway, in the PS2 version, this this section here looks no better, and I mean it. Like there's nothing better about it at all. Even the textures are just the same, basically. Really, really drab. And also the reason why I stopped talking that bit before is I want you to appreciate the music just 100%. Just complete, complete silence on my half, my behalf. I don't. Now what we also get is this, what, look at that. Looks it's a it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a picture of a of a of a window. Like the actual window has no. This is solid window. Look. I'm, le I'm letting you listen to it again. Go, go down this little slide, there's nothing you can miss. And... I am almost sure that I missed the Monsters Inc. token, so... We'll have to go down here again. Right, here we go. Oh, is that permanently open now or something? Or, anyway, so... If you go down here, here we go. Really should have got that one earlier. My bad. There we go, there's the silver medal. Yeah! Now, you see that guy, the little red guy, the little red demon? Well, we're not going to be able to get him to see it. We are here today to once again congratulate James P. Sullivan and Michael Wazowski for their impressive completion of level two of the Academy. Oh, God. I am honored to present you both with these silver medals to commemorate your achievement. They're on Scare Island, right? Congratulations. That's a blue medal. That's not even silver. That's not even silver. If you look at that medal, that is, that is blue. It's a blue medal. All right, now look at this. Look at this garbage. You end up back in the, the, the start of the level again. Ugh, I mean, like this level. So you don't even end up in the same level. You have to re-get back up to it. Ridiculous. But, never fear, we're going to, uh, you know, as a final hurrah for this Let's Play, to really th show what this Let's Play, you know, was about, slash became very early on, I'm going to end the game with a glitch, like I just did there. You know, instead of skipping up there with the, the, uh, the power, I thought, you know what? No, that's not what we're about. We are about glitching the hell out of this and making it into something, you know, glitchy. This glitch is rock. Anyway, that's it. Can you believe That's the end of the game, basically. We're done. There's the gold medal. Yeah. How disappointed are you guys on a scale of 1 to 10? How disappointed are you? That's it. No more. No more final boss. No more extensive. It is a rare thing when a oh, monster it's rare. Really exceeds the expectations of the Academy. Today I present to you James P. Sullivan and Michael Wazowski. Together they have accomplished what few before them have. Completion of the Academy. Level three training. The medals, please. Oh, thank you. What an honor. We got a gold medal. Or should I say a yellow medal? These golden medals symbolize the highest level of accomplishment here at the Academy. At the Academy? What is the Academy? Monsters Academy? Henceforth, you will be known as Top Scare Team and will be entitled to all the rights and privileges thereof. Well, congratulations to you both. Alright! Yeah. Whoa! Ow! So tell me, tell me this, guys. What do we actually get? I have no choice. Times have changed. Scaring isn't enough oh, anymore. For... What, kidnapping wait, wait. children? children? A thousand children before I let this company die, <gasps> and I'll silence anyone who oh. gets in my way. <laughs> Oh my god, Wardeners, Warden. He's in trouble. 
Oh my goodness. The rest of you guys, but I spotted several big mistakes. But, but, but how, how did how, how you know did, what? Let's watch my favorite part again. <laughs> we all kidnap a thousand children before I let this company die. What? I'll kidnap a what? thousand children before I let this company That's die. That's disgraceful. This boy. Oh, what are you doing? Take, take your hands off of me. You can Yep, that's Monsters Inc. Wow, what an amazing movie. I, I would have watched the whole thing, but you know, don't want to get into serious trouble. But yes, this is Monsters, Inc. Scare Island. This is it. This is the resume. This is the producer, the lead game designer, art director, executive producer. There seem to be a lot of French people here. Look, Claude. Elie. Philippe. Philippe. Jean-Philippe Dion. Very interesting name. Look, look it's are they, are artificial mind of movement, just French. I, 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 Leve, Leves. How do you put it? Isn't it like Levesque? Levesque? Or something like that? Like, Leve is not Levesque. Like, that's Paul Levesque or whatever. Something like that. It's a special way of pronouncing that word, actually. Uh, Le, Levesque, Levesque or whatever. Anyway, so the music kind of transitioned into, you know, each track. Now, we'll get to see who produced this. It's like some in house team or something like. Not in house, like some like contract team that does this music to this game and a couple other games as well. Um, there's some similar sounds and stuff. Here's sound designers. Additional sound design. Oh, froze. Wait. Lead tester. Look. Cedric B Bord Bowder. Bowder. Music. So here you go. Arrogant Recording Studios. Interesting. T. Sohit Sohay. P. Rogers. Arrogant Music. Very interesting. It doesn't sound American. It definitely sounds yeah foreign or whatever. Who knows? Anyway, so that's Monsters Inc. Scare Island. As I said. You know, not much else to say. It's it's a uh, it's a good let's play to kind of get done in three parts. You know, I feel like obviously I had to do it one per part back in the day, but like in the modern day times, no, I feel like I, I can't do this game in one part each because there's just not enough for each level. It just needs to be done in one clean sweep or a couple sweeps. You know, a couple levels per part at least. Um, now wait a minute. We've, okay, James Coburn, Steve Buscemi. Bonnie Hunt, Carlos Alazaki, that's the original Spiral, Spiral Voice, Brian Cummings. Now, James Coburn, it was he the vo was he the original voice of Waternose? I can't remember, I've actually forgotten. Then we've got Pete, uh, Pixar Animation, and we know some of those people, John Lasseter, Pete Doctor. Um, there we go, 2001 this game came out. Very disappointing graphically for a PS1 game, let's, let's be serious here. Let's, you know, come on. Anyway, that's it, look at that. Monsters, Inc. There's no scare arm there, there's no scream team. I believe if you press the start button, it cuts. There we go, look at that. Well, that is game done, game one. There's nothing else to it. It's a new game, options, load game, stereo speak, whatever. Yep. That's it guys, so thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure to do another retrospective with you all. The next retrospective will be... Lilo and Stitch Trouble in Paradise. See you then.